What up, y'all? First of all, I just got to say, fuck COVID-19. Straight up, fuck the coronavirus. It's a serious, dangerous threat. And therefore, man, fuck COVID-19. Straight up. And the other thing is, man, it's not like the old school days where just saying, man, statute of limitations, don't ever do it. I'm not here to glorify it or embellish it or condone it. It's illegal in pretty much every jurisdiction in the United States of America, as far as I know, but you'd have to consult with legal counsel. So don't take my word for it, as I cannot provide any kind of legal or business, health or financial market advice, medical, otherwise. But back in the day, man, a cat Like in my neighborhood, uh, where I'm from originally, man, in a situation where one needed some like quick cash, just take some powder cocaine, man, rock it up, hit the block, put in work for the set, you know what I'm saying? And uh, make some bucks, you know, stack some cheddar, i.e. dough, and and just get it popping, you know, like popping fresh dough type shit. But, um, yeah... Hashtag can't do that. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, man, like it ain't like it used to be, you know, motherfucker used to be able to like just get on the grind and shit and just like make some chips. You know what I'm saying? Like salsa, you know what I'm saying? Fiesta type shit. But um, yeah, those days are long gone, man. That's another time frame. That's another time time dimension reality um now it's just all legit and so yeah man fuck corona virus 19 and quite frankly man fuck all the coronavirus you know what i'm saying fuck all the families of coronaviruses man they some bitches and shit nasty fucking disease type shit um yeah so the one thing man that i Parking back to, by the way, I'm once a grove. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, multitasking driving here. Um, I am once a grove. This is C4CW casting 495 celebrities worldwide. If you are true fans of this show, then I we 495 most certainly appreciate you. The economy giving money to the average person who works and even folks who don't just because they're simply in need think it's a good idea. And here's why. First of all, taxes are bullshit. They really, they really are. People, humans in America are already way over fucking taxed. So giving money back to the people is a, is a great thing. And if it happens, if it happens, then that's outstanding. In my opinion, it is absolutely a great thing, a wonderful thing for the U.S. economy and global economy. Uh, Don't know why it would take like over a week. Here's why. The Gov, don't you think the Gov would have like, you know, in all of its literature about pandemics and this possibility of a bio this and outbreak that, don't you think they'd have like a national stockpile of like a massive number of respirators? Like, don't you think that would be like a national security priority to have that shit like stocked up and on deck. Don't you think? But you know, mysteriously, mysteriously, what a coincidence, coincidentally, consequently, that shit just doesn't exist. Hmm. I wonder why. So now they have to make more. Because naturally there weren't a sufficient number previously. There wasn't a sufficient number previously. Which again, I mean, I can keep going on about it. Um, yeah. The fact that they're just not there in adequate numbers is really, really kind of like, you know, thought provoking. Like, mm mm-hmm. Right. And the same thing with like hospital beds, the number of like 
hospitals in America. Are, are there not enough fucking hospitals in America? I'm sure there are enough McDonald's though, right? And 7-Elevens and Pizza Huts and Burger Kings and Taco Bells. Oh yeah, they're all over the place. <clears throat> but not enough hospitals, right? Yeah, that makes perfect fucking sense. Shows you where uh shows you where the corporate interests lie. Shows you where the corporate interests lie. So um yeah. Yeah. That's real fucking fascinating and uh quite remarkable. So so yeah, the coronavirus um, what is it like over, is it a hundred people who have died in a quarter of a year now? A uh, hundred people. I just, you know, I, the fact that the panic wasn't there during, uh, the flu, um, you know, season last year and they didn't shut down restaurants and bars and theaters and gyms. And what else did they shut down in some cities, towns? stage jurisdictions, um, I guess just like restaurants and public spaces, you know, social distancing. Why, why hasn't social distancing happened before in the past when nearly a million people are killed annually from the, uh, from the flu? Oh, and here's the other thing about the flu. I'm pretty sure that if you're over the age of say, uh, 18, yeah, about 18, um, you probably had the coronavirus before, yeah, and they probably just told you that it was the flu, I mean, listen, man, you can say whatever you want, you can think whatever you want, you obviously have, you know, the right, and you're entitled to your opinion, um, and your view of how things are, reality, um, and such, I'm just simply saying, and by the way, this is all, you know, entertainment. This, that's all this is, is just entertainment. And, and I'm not trying to make light of any situation. I'm not trying to downplay any situation. And I'm not trying to, um, I, I'm really not trying to make light of a serious situation. I'm just simply saying that numbers wise, and I've been talking about this and, yeah, I'm still just a little bit confused as to why some people are panicking over a disease that has killed, let me see, to date, what is it? Is it 8,000 globally? So 10,000? Okay, 1,000 times 1,000 is a million. So uh, let's do some math here. Um, okay, well, 640, yeah. So 646,000. And, uh, where the fuck is my calculator it's supposed to be on my home page here? Boom. Okay, here we go. 646,000 divided by, we'll just say that it's killed 10,000 people. I don't want to say that, but, uh, we'll just say that it has. So you would need, you would need 10,000 people. I mean, a simple math. You would need 10 thousand okay you would need 64.6 you'd need 64.6 groups of 10,000 people to die from the coronavirus to equal the number of people who died from the flu last year so so let's 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 think about this together so if you could put 10,000 people over there, another group of 10,000 people, a third group of 10,000 people, a fourth group of 10,000 people, you would need 64 groups, wherein each group consists of 10,000 people to equal the number of those who died from the flu last year. At this point, you only have one group of 10,000 and it hasn't even reached 10,000. It's at like 8,000 today. So, so yeah, 64 times the number of people 
uh, who have died of coronavirus died from the flu last year. And, and there was no panic. That's what I'm trying to understand. There was no panic. And coronaviruses have been on planet Earth for hundreds of years. Probably thousands. So since they've been around for centuries, we know they've been around for centuries. Since coronaviruses, families of coronaviruses, there are hundreds of different types of coronaviruses. At least, at least hundreds And they cause such things as the common cold. So since they've been around for hundreds of years, there's a good chance, man, you've had the coronavirus before and you just didn't know. You got over it. You were told it was the flu. You were told it was influenza. You know, you went to the doctor and the doctor's like, I, uh, based on what you're telling me uh, with my background, you know, I'm a fucking medical doctor is what your doctor said, probably. You know, I can tell you. Based on what I'm seeing here, you definitely got the uh, case, a touch of the uh, the old influenza there. Um, yeah, it was probably the coronavirus. It was probably the coronavirus, and then you got over it. Yeah, and you went back to work, and you went back to uh, life, and you uh, you know, you got on with things, and it was uh, you know, it was business as usual. Back to business. I'm just saying, man. You know, like you were most likely told that you had the flu. And the reality is that you had the coronavirus. It's just that, you know, before the high speed internet, back when I was a kid, they would just tell us that we had the flu. That's all, you know. And uh, some people would be sick in bed for like a week, you know, have body aches and chills and hot flashes and Go back and forth between hot and cold, cold and hot, and you'd sweat, and you'd vomit like in a bucket or some shit, and, you know, it was pretty um, it was pretty intense, man, to say the least, and uh, you were told that it was the flu. It's probably the fucking coronavirus. I'm just saying, like, man, you know, so for anyone who wasn't and hasn't been paying attention, today... We're going to look at the number of how many people. we got to look it up. we just got to do it because I don't want to be given any information that's inaccurate. I don't want to broadcast any information that's inaccurate. And for someone who thinks that there haven't been people sickened by coronaviruses before, I was on the CDC website uh, or NIH. Well, I've been on all the websites. One of them said that coronaviruses, um, that there have been, I think this is the fourth outbreak of coronaviruses in the past, was it like a couple of decades, past 20 years? This is like the fourth one that's like come to public attention? Now, now what about before the internet? What about before the world was hyper-connected? Huh? Yeah, they could tell you anything back then. Like I said, you go see a doctor, they're like, oh yeah, you got the flu. And you'd be like, well, doc, how do you know it's the flu? And Doc would be like, well, it's just, you know, the symptoms. It's, it's got it's the flu, you know. I'm an MD. <laughs> like, I know my stuff, you know, is what your Doc would probably say. And fucking who knows, man. Who knows, man. Um, and then, you know, after the coronavirus died and it ran its course and it left your system, you were well again and you had no idea that you had the fucking coronavirus. I mean, that's what it's doing now. You know, and a lot of people, a lot of people don't even know they have a fucking coronavirus. And, uh, and then someone puts a sensor on them and says, oh yeah, you've got the, see, see what the little readout says? See what the little sensor says? Yeah, it says you've got the coronavirus, whether it's a false positive. You know what I'm saying? So many different devices and shit, so many liars, so many deceivers, you know, such a web of lies and deception. You know what I'm saying? Because the government man can tell you that you have the coronavirus. And if and if someone with a little wand, you know, looks at the little readout and is like, yep, yeah, you definitely got the coronavirus. I mean, do you really? Do you really? I mean, I've seen so many doctors say that there is so much that is unknown still about COVID-19. Yeah. If there's so much that's unknown, that's so unknown about it still to this day, when they tell you that you have the coronavirus, if they do, 
Well, how do they know? How do they know? Because the sensor says? Because of their test that they conduct? I mean, shit. Again, how do you know you haven't had it before? How do you know? Let me see. Hold on. Hold on. Here we go. Let's go, Google. Let's fucking speed it up. Let's go, motherfucker. How many people have died of the coronavirus now? Taking a little too fucking long there. Taking a little too fucking long there. Uh, let's see, CNN is reporting from 39 minutes ago, 197,000 globally, but I already saw earlier today, hours ago, that it's already, uh, surpassed 200,000, and it says, let's see, you would think, okay, here's the worldometers.info that we looked at, um, that we looked at a few days ago. So it now says 218,152 and it shows deaths at 8,937. So as of today, Oh, look, a spammer. Oh, that's all you know how to do in your life is sit around and fucking spam people. Fag fucking piece of shit. These people are losers. Really? You don't know how to make a normal living and do like a real adult job? All you know how to do is send out spam from your computer? You're a fucking stupid bag. Fucking piece of shit. Um, let's see. 18 March 2020, Wednesday, 6.04 p.m. And after a quarter of a year... Because, you know, coming up on April, quarter of a year. And also, based on what we know and what we suspected, um, what we know now and what we suspected long ago, the coronavirus broke out uh, long before the Chinese government, uh, you know, spilled the beans and divulged that information. We know that. Um, So it was before December of last year. And they just try to keep it under wraps because, you know, China's a... um, it's a you know, partially communist country, so the communist elements in the country, they don't want for people to know the truth, um, because that's how communist elements control a population, is by lying and deceiving um, and tricking people uh, into believing some shit that's not true. So, let's see here, confirmed cases and deaths, again from worldometers.info, quote, Uh, let's see. The coronavirus COVID-19 is affecting 173 countries and territories. And Italy still looks like it's been hit hard. Iran's numbers have gone up. Yeah, plus signs. Now that more testing is taking place. And in a quarter of a year, in a quarter of a year... There have been, uh, to date, uh, a few a few numbers. Uh, what is that? Sixty three, sixty three shy of uh, nine thousand. Nine thousand deaths worldwide. Nine thousand. So in a quarter of a year, there haven't been ten thousand deaths. There have not been 10,000 deaths as of today's reporting. Um, So, let's see. How many people die from the flu every year? Um, Let's see. So this is from Health Magazine, and I believe they're talking about the United States. It says that, uh, so they're showing here on health, uh, what is it? Yeah, health.com, it shows that... Quote, the CDC also estimates that up to 31 
million Americans have caught the flu this season. With 210,000 to 370,000 flu sufferers hospitalized because hospitalized because of the virus. Again, from health.com, quote, the CDC also estimates that up to 31 million Americans have caught the flu this see 31 million Americans 31 million Americans 31 million Americans have caught the flu this season with 210,000 to 370,000 flu sufferers hospitalized because of the virus, end quote. Now, 31 million compared to 9,000. Does anybody see the fucking difference? Anybody? Is anybody out here, out there, wherever... You are in the multiverse. Does anybody see the difference between 31 fucking million on one hand and the number 9,000 over here? Where was the panic for the 31 million people? Where was it? Right. It was non-existent. It was non-existent. Until, of course... Some stupid ass liberals wanted to create an artificial recession story narrative and then go out of their way to engineer the shit to make it seem like they were right the whole time, even though there is no actual recession. There's no fucking recession. It's artificial What's happening with the economy right now? Because it was created by people who sought to create fear and panic and hysteria, hysterics, spastics. They're concerned about catching the coronavirus? Uh, wow. Yeah, it's dangerous. Person doesn't want to get it. But where was the panic over the 31 million people in America? 31 million people. Just no panic there. Just no panic. That's why I just can't play along. I just can't fucking play. I can't. I can't fucking play along. Because, because it's ambiguity. It's ambiguity. It is ambiguous, it is irrational, it is fucking illogical. So you're going to go and rush out and get a bunch of fucking toilet paper and a bunch of meat off the shelves? Man, shut the fuck up, man. For real, that's what you're going to do? But you didn't do that for the 31 million people who were infected by a life-threatening fucking disease called the flu. 31 million people. Where was the panic? Huh? Why didn't you take a bunch of fucking napkins and paper towels and goddamn fucking toilet paper and a bunch of meat then? Huh? When flu season was kicking in, why didn't you run and buy a bunch of meat products? Huh? Why didn't you do that? Why didn't you go and buy a bunch of shit that you didn't really fucking need back then? With 31 million people infected by a deadly fucking disease, virus, influenza. I can't play along with it, man. I just can't do it. Fuck the goddamn media. Fuck the left-wing motherfucking media, media, media that presses the panic button bullshit. Little fucking hysteria, hysterics button. And then all these little lemmings play along with it. They all go and they play. And they play along in the protest against Donald Trump. Yeah, that's exactly what the fuck it is. I can't be sold on this shit, man, when you didn't panic those those out there who didn't panic for 31 million. 
can't play along for those who didn't panic for $31 million, but they're panicking for the 9000 Listen, I feel bad for people who are old, senior, elderly, and they're impacted by this virus or whatever it is. Biological weapon created by some government. Who fucking knows? I don't... Tr- Listen, I'm pro-America, but I don't trust every fucking one in my government, our government. I don't believe everything I'm fucking told by the media. I just don't. I don't. I can't, man. I just, I got to think for myself, man. I'm a leader, not a fucking follower. So I can't play along with the narrative. When I see, when I see the irrational, erratic, illogical behavior, and I see people behaving stupidly and pathetically and acting out of their fucking minds, bizarre, bizarrely, I'm just like, "Mm -hmm. right, what do you need a bunch of toilet paper and napkins for? For what? For what? If you get the coronavirus, you're most likely statistically going to recover from it like you did before when you didn't even know that you had it the fucking first time, right? Because they told you you had the fucking flu. And now they're telling you you have the coronavirus. You see, man, the shit doesn't add up. The story doesn't fucking jibe. Okay? And I can't fucking play along with the fucking nonsense.